Hey guys, what I want to talk about today is what if you have to say something? So there are times where we have to give over negative information in order to protect people. That's called litoelit for a constructive purpose. And halacha requires us to speak up for a constructive purpose in order to prevent harm or damage to others. So how do I know if what I want to say is litoelit for a purpose? There are seven conditions of toilet in halacha, and they're really easy to remember because it's an acronym. Speaking. S-P-E-A-K-I-N-G. So let's go through them. Number one, sure. S, sure. You have to be sure what what you saw really happened or what you know really happened. So this means either it's a firsthand account, you saw it with your own eyes, or you heard it from a very reliable second source. But if you heard it from a second source, when you give over the information, you have to include that piece of information. You have to say, I didn't see this myself, but I heard it from a second source. So the first step of condition of toilet is that you're sure that it happened. Number two, positive. You have to be positive that what you saw was wrong. Sometimes we can see things and there could be different interpretations. What we have to be sure of the second time is that we're positive that what the person was doing was actually wrong. The next one is E for educate. That means before you say something about someone, you should first try to say something to the person. This means you should go and tell them that you saw or you know what they've done and it was wrong and they need to make amends. Now, sometimes that's not practical or not safe. So if that's not a practical or safe situation, then we wouldn't try to go educate the party. Next one up is A for accurate. You have to say exactly what you saw or exactly what you know with no form of exaggeration, nor putting your own spin on things or your own interpretations. Next up is KI, kosher intent. That means that you can't have any negative feelings about the person you're speaking about. The Torah doesn't allow us to have vengeance. The Torah doesn't allow us to get people in trouble because we don't like them. So you have to have kosher intent. Your intent has to be to prevent harm, not to get the person you're speaking about in trouble. N is no other way. You couldn't get this information out or protect the person you need to protect without saying something negative. An easy example of this is if somebody's taking a test and they realize the person next to them is cheating, before they raise their hand and tell on them, they could simply cover their paper and prevent the harm from happening. And the last one is G, good measure. That means whatever's going to happen for this person is going to be in measure of what they've done wrong. So let's say you have a boss that's super crazy about office supplies, and if they found out that they took someone took home a box of staples, they'd fire them. Okay, nobody should get fired for taking a box of staples. So you might not be able to tell your boss about someone taking staples. You might have to speak to someone else to make sure that what's going to happen to them is in good measure to what they've done wrong. So let's review. Speaking, you have to be totally sure about what you saw or what you know on a first-hand level. If it's secondhand information that's reliable, you still have to say that it's secondhand. Next, P, positive. You have to be positive what you saw was actually them doing something wrong, or what you know is that they did something wrong. E, educate. You have to first try to speak to the person before you speak about the person, unless it's impossible or it's not safe. A, accurate. You can only say exactly what happened, no exaggeration, no putting your own spin on it. K-I, kosher intent. You don't want to hurt the person you're speaking about. You don't want to get them in trouble. N, N, no other way. You can't prevent harm without saying something. And G, good measure. You're going to make sure that what's going to happen to them based on what you're saying is appropriate to what they actually did wrong. So if you need to say something, first check speaking to make sure that there's a constructive purpose. Have a great day.